The gypsy moth population is booming, and that's bad news for your trees, especially if you live in North Jersey. These hairy caterpillars are voracious eaters. They wreak havoc on tree leaves, chewing through entire canopies before they become moths. Last year, they defoliated more than 1,000 acres of trees statewide. This year, the Department of Agriculture says that number has skyrocketed. An aerial survey showed around 300 times the damage in nearly twice as many counties. This year, we've had a lot of blow-in of gypsy moth from other states, from deep wood infestations, for example, and also within a state. Um, they kind of blew in in areas that we've had a dramatic increase in our defoliation up to 200, over 290,000 acres, mostly in the northern counties of the state, the seven northern counties of the state, compared to last year when we, when we found scattered throughout the state. Damage has been reported in every county except Hudson. Sussex, Passaic, and Morris counties have been hit the hardest, especially West Milford and Jefferson Township. When the eggs hatch, new caterpillars are the size of a pencil point. The wind picks them up and can carry them up to 30 miles away. They'll land on a tree and that's when they start feeding. The more they eat, the greater the defoliation. The gypsy moth, they pretty much hatch, they do their feeding, they turn into pupa, they turn into moths. After a couple weeks as moths, they die. And all that's left are egg masses that are overwintering. And based on those egg mass counts, we know where they're going to be a problem the following year. And that's where we started proposing our spray block. Municipalities can ask the Department of Agriculture to do a survey this fall of new egg masses, the ones that are set to hatch in spring. If more than 500 egg masses are found per acre, and at 1,000 eggs per mass, that's a potential half a million caterpillars, the government can arrange to spray a non-chemical insecticide by plane over a minimum of 50 acres. And then the towns would foot the bill for the aerial treatments they're required to do that. Then we, in turn, ask the U.S. Forest Service for federal cost share money to give half of their spray costs back to the towns. The spray program is voluntary. The Department of Agriculture monitors its effects. Uh, I do an egg mass count as to see how many new egg masses are and compare it to the old egg masses, um, and just a general inspection of the area. If you see new egg masses on your trees and your town doesn't plan to spray, Zoltowski says you can scrape the masses off and crush them, or you could hire a private ground service to spray your property. A tree can sustain around two to three consecutive years of heavy damage before it dies. In Trenton, I'm Erin Delmore, NJTV News.